Jakarta is the capital of Indonesia. It's a bustling metropolis of almost 11 million people. There's always things going on here. But one thing you can be sure of, they always have time for badminton. And here we are at the Istora Sanayan, part of the historic Gelora Bung Karno sports complex. They absolutely love their badminton here. And it's been in use since 1961 for the Thomas Cup. And we are here for the HSBC BWF Indonesia Open 2022. Let's get straight into the fixtures uh, for today on court one. We're going to start with some local flavor as Gregoria Mariska Tunjung of Indonesia takes on Pitayapon Chaiwan of Thailand. Then into the men's doubles with Kim Gi Jung and Kim Sa Rung. They continue their comeback trail, the Koreans, against Aaron Chia and So Yik of Malaysia. They are the fifth seeds. Women's singles, Kim Ga Eun of Korea takes on the winner of last week's Indonesia Masters 2022. Chen Yu Fei of China, she's the fourth seed. And probably one of the biggest matches today as far as the crowd are concerned in the men's doubles. We'll have uh, Liu Yu Chen and O oh Xuan Yi of China taking on the daddies, the massive heroes here, big stars, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. And uh, final match in the first session sees Kudlavun Bittesan of Thailand take on last week's finalist in the men's singles here at the Indonesian Masters as Chinese Taipei's Cho Tian Chen. Well, the action continues, of course, into the second session. Another five matches for you. And, uh, well, there are a few that do stand out. There, Good Sofia and of Malaysia will take on last week's winners of the Indonesian Masters, Fajr Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto. Malaysia and Indonesia always can be a spicy affair. In fact, there'll be three matches involving Indonesians in a row. We'll have uh, the runners-up of the Indonesian Masters last week, Apriani Rahayu with a new partner, Siti Fadia. Sylvia Ramadanti taking on Mayu Matsumoto and Wakan Nagahara. And the, uh, we've got Jonathan Christie, who's absolutely massive here in Indonesia, the seventh seed, taking on Kantapon Wangcharan. Keep an eye out as well for Kenta Momota, the second seed, up against Rasmus Gemke. Well, I can tell you, this is what they're playing for there. That's the World Tour Finals trophy right there, uh, just in the foreground there. And this is the ladder for you. The winner of the match coming up first here, Gregorio Mariska Tunjong and uh, Peta Petayapon Chaiwan will take on the winner of Payupo and Nozomi Okuhara, the sixth seed. Later on, as I mentioned, Kim Gaon no. and Chen Yufei oh, oh, oh. will do battle. Well, the crowd, I can tell you, uh, were here almost two hours ago. And listen to that as they let their feelings be known as Gregoria Mariska Tunjung makes her way on. If you think this is noisy, just wait as the day progresses and we get more and more fans streaming in. Tunjung is a former world junior champion in 2017. She's also represented Indonesia in the Sudirman Cup, won a bronze medal in 2019, Asian Games, a bronze medal in 2018. Asian Team Championships this year. She got a gold as well, part of the women's team event. Southeast Asian Games. She got a silver a few weeks ago in Vietnam and in the Philippines in 2019. And a string of bronzes between 2015 and 2021 as well in both the team and singles events. She has won one tournament, a run, runner-up, sorry, in the Cyborg International head-to-head, -head, even though she's up against a higher-ranked opponent in Pitayapon, is 4-0 in favor of Tunjung. Black, you win. Service? This side to this side? This side. We'll tell you more about that head-to-head -head in a short while. What about Pitayapon? Well, another fantastic player. There's one runner-up medal to her name in the Side Modi International 2019. 
World Junior bronze medalist in 2019. Southeast Asian Games, she won a gold in the recent SEA Games in the women's team event. Yuba Cup, she has a couple of bronze medals in 2020 and 2022. So Tojung is 22 from Wonoguri, 164 centimetres tall. Her current ranking is 30th in the world. She has been as high as 13th. That was in, oh well, almost exactly three years ago to the day. And she has come out recently with a bit of a crisis of confidence, which we'll tell you about in a while. The Taiwan Taiwan is 21. 164 centimetres, so not much difference in the height there. She is currently 21st in the world. Her highest, not too different from what it is right now. And that was a few months ago, 19th in November 2021. Okay, back to that head-to-head uh, -head between the two. Yeah, despite being uh, at the moment lower ranked, Tunjong has beaten Pitayapon all four times they've met on the BWF, HSBC BWF World Tour. Uh, they met as recently as last week in the Indonesia Masters, as you saw earlier, 21-14, 21-15. Tunjung won that one. In fact, uh, only once has she gone to three against Taiwan, the guy from Taiwan. That was in uh, 2015. Chalki Mares from Algeria is the umpire. But they also met recently in the Southeast Asian Games. And that's part of it from India is the service judge. Uh, and that one, in that instance, Pitayapon won that. Won that match. So. That's something just to keep in mind that while she wins all the head-to-heads. Ladies and gentlemen. They lost in the semi-finals, actually, Omar Pitayapon, Chaiman. Thailand and Omale, Yogi Ramaz Katanje, Indonesia. Global play. So here we go, Tunjung to serve. From Tunjung. Right idea, wrong execution. Well, that's just the opening point. <laughs> and listen to the reception she receives for it. Out with those uh, Two. unforced errors. One. Yeah, two in a row. Yeah, she'll Three. be disappointed with that. Uh, Tunjong. Taipon will be delighted with the start that she's had. First winner of the match for Tunjung. And that will do her a world of good, I'm sure. 
two. She'd uh, three. recently come out on social media just talking about her doubts and, and how she felt she was in a bad place in terms of her her form. And they're all level. Three, four. Yeah, she just said that she could see her progress over the last four years is something that she wasn't very proud of. I remember, as I mentioned, she was at her best quite some time ago. Threatening to break into the top ten. Four, and she said. Three. Just need some encouragement and support from those closest to them. And they said that she just needed to regain her happiness in playing badminton. And she would fight hard in training to show off her prowess in the field. Oh, that's delightful. Really nicely done. Soft hands Five, from Tunjung. Three. And she now starts to surge ahead. Lead is now three. Six, three. Again, a little bit of deception. I don't think good. Uh, our opponent saw that. Pitaya Pol, who lost in the finals to Pol Pavi Chochuang of the in the recent Southeast Asian Games. She got a silver medal there. Seven, three. Yeah, there was sort of a hint of retirement or just not enjoying her badminton at the moment from uh, Tunjung in, in the, some of those uh, some of those lines of her social media messages. Hey, three. And even uh, her coach, Rioni Mainaki, was uh, trying to give some advice. That's down the line. Service over. She just Four, felt that eight. she needed to show a bit more confidence in addition to continuing to train hard. Again, it's so delicate from Tunjung. Service over. Nine. <laughs> what you can do, I can do as well, says Pitaya Pon. That is a lovely shot, Nine. isn't it? Almost dismissive in its execution. Well, that is superb. They're both playing some really subtle shots at times and mixing it up beautifully. Five. Just look at the way she's pulled that one off. It's almost effortless. Well, I'll tell you what, for someone who's displaying crisis of confidence at the moment, she's playing very well. Tunjung, and as if to highlight the point. Tunju goes into the interval 11 5 up in game one. Coach. 
Yeah, just going back to what I was saying about uh, Rioni Mainaki, he was saying that... Uh, 11, 5... She just has to... Play. ...work that fighting spirit. And did actually highlight several of her shortcomings, enthusiasm and belief, which has to be worked on. Service over. 6, 11. Just evades Tunjung. That's a good start after the Seven. interval from Pitayapon. And she wasn't aware of that, Tunjung can see. Who will be uh, disappointed with how she performed in the Indonesia Masters last week. Yeah, that just wasn't enough on that left, was that? Easy one to put away for Tunjong. I mean, she beat the type one in the first round, as we mentioned earlier, in uh, straight games. That took about 35 minutes. And then she had PV Sindhu on the ropes in the round of 16. Couldn't finish it off. Lost that one, 21-23, 22-20, and then seven. fell away in the third, 11-21. So, disappointing, I think, the, the way she probably would have lost. She was out in the first round against Unser Young in the All England, out in the first round of the Asian Championships against Tung Yi Man. Sea Games, as I mentioned, she got to the semi-finals where she lost to her current opponent in straight games. That one also took 35 minutes. Service over eight, 13. And then in the second round of the Indonesia Masters. So At the moment, Pataipon is uh, outscoring her opponent since the interval 3-2. Well, she's tried that a couple times now. Nine, Tung Jung. 13. Yeah, it hasn't quite worked out for her. The idea, of course, is, is the right one. Very short rallies Summer. we're having at the moment. We're racing 14, through this. Nine. For Pataipon, she says she wants to emulate her hero, Rachanok Intanon, who got to the uh, finals here last week in the Indonesia Masters. And it's going to be a half hearted challenge here. I don't think Pataipon really believed that that was in. Shaiwan Pitaipon challenges. Let's see. I'm pretty sure she knows that that was out already. Oh, well, well. well. That is very well done there for Pataipon. I have to say, just didn't Seven show in a body language at all with that appeal. Ten. For a challenge. Fourteen. She's done well here. The gap is four now. Oh. There's no doubt about how wide that one was. Eleven. Fourteen. Oh, this is excellent, really, from Pataipon. Right on the tail here of Tunjung now. Oh. Uh, 
catalogue of 14. errors here for Tun Jung. And it's just one point in it. Remember, the gap was six at the interval. That's better. Just to relieve some of that pressure here. Tun Jung. Really needed to do that. 15, 13. <laughs> Went for the winner. Service over. Didn't quite 14, work out for it. 15. Well, she's not able to put 15, on a run at the moment. 16. Maybe that's the frustrating thing here for Tun Jung. Oh, was that in or not? Oh, and it's going to be a challenge again. Diamond Pitai Pond. in. Seems a little bit more determined here with the challenge than the first one. Well, I'm not going to commit myself this time because I was pretty certain the last one was out and it ended up being in. This one did look quite tight, I have to say. Well and truly out. She's done really well on these challenges. Two out of two so far. The diapon. And it is a remarkable comeback here, given that she was six behind. It's not working. 17, and that 16. is really impressive now. She goes into the lead here, Pitayapon. So it was 11 5 at the interval. It is now 11 5 since then. 12 5, I should say, in favor. Oh, Pitaipo, what a swing that has been since the break. Really well dug out there by Tung Jung, but it's not good enough. 18. Uh, Pitaipo is in front, and well, we were talking about the fighting spirit and confidence of Tung Jung that her coach feels she needs to work on, and right now she needs to draw on that. When you're silencing this crowd, uh, you've done quite well. And at the moment, it's just a little edgy. Now it's starting to rise again. You need to really get behind her. Oh, that is glorious. From Pitai Ponchai one. 
whose birth name is actually Wakarasuda Chaiwan, and that's the name she was using until 2018 when she visited the temple with her parents in Bangkok. She was advised to change her name to Pitayapon. Change her name, perhaps change her fortune for her. And right now she's doing quite well here after an early setback. Moved her opponent around really well there. Seven jump. Nineteen. Crowd enjoyed that one. With some net along the way. And that net shot was exactly what she needed. And that's been the longest rally, just 20 shots. Service of 20 game point. But it is game points now. The Taipan was three of them. Body language. Not great, is it? From Tunjung. That is in. And she takes game. the first game. Pitaipon Chai won. First game won by Pitaipon. 21 17. 21 17. That is encouraging for her. The last time she won the first game between these two on the HSBC BWF World Tour was in Just heard there, I think that uh, Tunjung just wanted a little bit of tape, some kind of treatment on her, on her arm. Couldn't really see what the issue was. Two twenty seconds. Third two. One sorry. Twenty seconds. Okay. Doesn't seem anything too serious. She's got a little plaster on the uh, on the arm there. Now she's got a lot of work to do here because she'll be disappointed with the. The way she played after the interval, she started pretty well, didn't she? Her six-point lead was 11-5 up at the interval. Only managed to garner another six more points. 16-6, to six, she was outscored by Pattaya Boy. She showed the kind of fighting spirit that Tunjung needs to show right now. And I just wonder whether... That momentum has completely shifted One. to the Thai shuttler. No. He's looking pretty confident at the moment. Oh. As soon as I say that, of course, she serves uh, like that. One. Oh. That is what the fans want to see Two. from One. Sun Jung. So after all that, she's now thrown away the plaster that was on her arm. I guess the sweat is not helping. <laughs> so 
What, what, what she needs over? to do at the moment is Two, four. get a run of points, something that she's not able to do at the moment. from Pataipon's coach. Well, you can see the idea. She's trying to aim for that far corner where she knew it would be tough for Tunjung to get to, not quite there. That's just superb. That's the second time she's done that in this match, a return of serve. Beautifully done. Brilliant from Pataya Ponchai one. Yeah, she was always up against it. Tun Jung there with the oh, oh. return there. The just wasn't enough height and depth on it. Ah. So it was around this stage of the first game that Tunjung started to Five, run away with it. Tunjung, similar story at the moment, starting to edge away. Great, isn't it? Down the line. Seven, four. Nicely done by Chun Chung. Well, she knows she needs as much of a cushion as possible after what happened in the last game. Oh, there you go again. Service it's just effortless, isn't it? Five, From Pitayapon. Just superb on those returns of serve. Third time now she's done that. Service over. No challenge this Eight. time from Pitaya Pond. Service over. Six. Eight. Talking to herself a lot. She's trying to psych herself up, you'd think. <laughs> Delight there from Tunjung. Nine, 
six. Some of the shots she plays are just so good Seven. to watch, aren't they? Nine. The time for Chai one. We said she's very close to Gretchen up in Tanon, and that's why she's that inspiration. And wants to emulate her, as I said, in so many different ways. <laughs> She's annoyed with that. Ten, with that upon. Maybe a little too casual in the backhand there. So once again, it is a lead seven, here for Tunjo going and into an interval. This time it's four points. The last one was six. She now trails by a game for the Indonesian. Keeps getting told to hurry things up and get off the court. He's got plenty to say to Pitaipo. And remember, it was his last chat in the uh, 11, interval that really seven, made play. a big difference. Because Pitaipo really fought superbly after the interval. Three, seven. Well, she shouldn't be too disheartened by the five-point deficit at the moment. She overcame a six-point deficit earlier on. And that's what the lead is right now for Tunjo. Thirteen, seven. Skimming the top of the net, and Tunjo 14, seven. has her biggest lead now, seven points. In the first game, she had uh, seven consecutive points. 15, seven. And she's reeling off. Quite a few of them here as well. The real problems here. She's on seven in a row 16, here as well now. Seven. Maybe. Just the way this is going now, we are looking at a rubber. Well, she desperately needed something, Seven didn't she? To tie upon because there was five unanswered points there since the interval from Tunjo. Much, much better this time from the Indonesian. Just the one point for the tie, and it's back with Dunjo. Service over. 
9.17. Eight points at the moment in favor of Tunjo. She feel a lot more happy about where she is right now, Tunjo. Very, very different sort of display now in game two no. for the Indonesian. Nineteen. Nine. Well, this is massive now, the lead here for Tunjo. Will be. Probably looking forward to that game three. Trying to wrap this up if she can. Service over. 10, 19. It's all working out at the moment for Tunjo. She has 11 game points. Oh, oh, oh. Very well done here Second by Tun Jung, who is turning this around superbly in game 21, two, 10. winning at 21 10, which is the biggest margin of victory in a game between these two on the tour. Beats the previous best of 21-11 that Dung Jung had over the Taipan back in 2017. For 20 seconds, for 20 seconds. Not been a good 2022 for right the Thai Pon, who's gone out in the first round of four Level. tournaments, apart from the Indonesian Play. Masters last week against Tun Jung. It was also the Korea Masters, the Korea Open, and the German Open, the last two against uh, Chen Yufei. But Service over one. And that oh. would be hugely disappointing. The only time she's really gone all the way, almost all the way, at least was into the final of the Southeast Asian Games, where, as I mentioned, she lost to compatriot Ponpawi Chochuong. So she's not someone who's really in form at the moment. Service so over. I'm sorry. Two. Low. Down. Get a question there from Tunjo. Service over. One, two. Mind you, as I mentioned as well, 
It's not been fantastic either for Tunjuk this year either. So two out of form players battling it out here in a third game. Three, one. Again, sublime Four. from the Thai Shuttler. One. Just look at how she plays this. Rooted to the spot, effectively, there, Tunjung. No chance for her. She needed that to just close the gap a bit. Service over. Two, four. Tunjung. Instead of four, it is now two points. Service over. Some of these doubts start to creep in again two. for Dunjung, that we saw particularly in game one. And that body language again. Got to pick herself up. Six, two, late. A really good winner, isn't it? Seven, two. From Pitaya Pon, who's on a bit of a roll here at the moment in game three. And the lead is five. She's playing well. It's okay. She's got the momentum at the moment, Pitaya Pon. Six points now in the gap. She's got to stop this now. Ball just runs away from her. Dun Jung. Nine, two. Five points on the trot. P up the tie upon who now makes it six. Ten, two. Dangerous times here for Tunjung. That's a and huge Evan, lead two. into the break here Interval, for Pitaip on Taiwan. 11 2 up in game three. String of unforced errors from Tunjung now. Let's see if her coach can really drill it into her. She needs to change this immediately.
Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach, coach. Eleven, two, play. Well, she's finally broken that run of points. Sun Jung has three, eleven. Seven in a row for Pitayapon. She only does it Service briefly, Tunjung. Twelve. Three. Thirteen. Three. if she can put on her own run of points here. She hasn't managed to get consecutive points at all in this game thus far, Tunjo. Hard to do that when you've only got four on the board at the moment. Oh, that's emphatic, isn't it? From Pitaya who's in 14, the zone at the moment. Four. This is slipping away from Tunjung. Unless, unless she can start that now. She's starting Five. to enter 14. now or never territory, really. Can she melt her fight back from here? Just in. <laughs> It's Service all going over. well for Pitaipon at the moment. 15, yeah. 5. That's well in, isn't it? And she still struggles to get consecutive points here. Dunjung, she's failed to do it at all in this game. At the moment, it's one Service point over. at a time as well. 6, 15. For Pitaipon. First time, he's had two in a row. Turn joke now, can she build on this? It's three. Eight, 15. <laughs> Service over. 16. Look at this again. Eight. Oh, just so fine, that one. Really nicely done. It's some good, good winners from Pitayapon in this match. Been some good ones from Tundra as well, to be fair. Just a really simple, delicate shot, soft hands. We've shown that both of them at times, but also been plenty of unforced errors. They're both going to hope that they can iron out if they progress in this tournament.
That is over. Nine, the lead is cut 16. down to seven, which is still massive at this stage. Tundra has to keep believing. Oh, she's missed the opportunity. That is over. 17, nine. She's trying to create that room for herself to play that shot. And the fans trying to do whatever they can here. Kill shot there in the net from uh, Tunjo. She needs 10, a lot 17. more of that right now. Again, off that serve. Four Service winners over. like that. She has been 18, so, so good with Diapon. Placement has been excellent. That is over. 11, 18. Two in a row again for Tunjung. 18. Six points the lead. Remember, her opponent overturned a six-point lead in game one. She has to emulate that now. Yeah. Service over. 19. She can't. Do it. First time of asking. Match point. And there you go. Wait. Match points. Plenty of them in hand for Pataiapon now. Eight to play with. Potentially a special moment here for her. And Pataiapon yeah. has done it. She's on her knees. Special because it's the first time on the tour that she has ever beaten. Gregoria Mariska Tunjung after four Patron straight defeats. Patron by Pitaya Porn, Chaiwan 21, she 17, wins, emulating 10, her win 21, in the South East Asian Games, which of course isn't part of the tour a few weeks ago. Well, she'll be absolutely delighted and she avenges the first round exit that she suffered at the hands of Tunjung last week in the Masters. And more importantly, I think for her, it's the first time on the tour this year that she gets into a second round. So Pitaipon, Chaiwan will be absolutely delighted with that on a couple of fronts. She defeats Gregoria Maniska Tunjong of Indonesia, 21-17, 10-21, 21-12 in 52 minutes.
So we've had the first uh, match of the day, which took just under an hour, with Pitaya Pon Chaiwan beating Gregoria Mariska Tundrung, an upset of sorts, given the track record and form that she's had. And now we move into the men's doubles. Kim Gi Jung and Kim Sai Rang of Korea take on Malaysia's Aaron Chia and So Yik, the fifth seeds. And as you can see, the winners there will play either the Popovs or Gilles or Van der Leck of uh, the Netherlands. We have the other well, matches going on right now, mixed uh, doubles and on courts one and three, as you can probably see here. Ladies and gentlemen, on court one, man's double match number 10. Please welcome the technical always So the players now about to get introduced. Officials first to making their way out. The umpire of the man, Goran Elizabeth, Serbia, and the sufficient. Yes, I'm saying really more issues. Great to see so many fans come in very, very early on, grabbing their seats because there's going to be a lot of Indonesians playing here today and they want to show their support. Please uh, welcome Kim Ki Jun, yeah, court one. Kim Sara. We'll have uh, quite the treat, Korea. I'm sure, as uh, the day progresses. So here come the Kims, Gi Jung and Sarang, who were the world number two pair back in the day. They reunited after splitting in 2016 towards the end of last year. And Aronchia Sohoi, Malaysia. Quite the pairing. Kim Gi Jung, former world champion bronze medalist 2013 and 14. The German Cup, silver 2013, bronze in 2015. Thomas Cup, silver in 2012, bronze in 2016. Gold medalist in the Asian Games in 2014, silver in 2010. Former Asian champion of men's doubles in 2012. Yeah. The tour has got four titles. Only one of them with uh, Kim Sarang, and that was the Korea Masters a few months ago. And they beat uh, Liu Yuchen and Oshuan Yi, who will be in action later. Okay. Red the First meeting or black. between these two pairs. As Red. we see the black for you. Malaysians, who are bronze medalists you from the toss? Olympics last you year. You serve. Okay. So, receiving. Thank you. On the right. You remember. Aaron Chan Suyik, uh, also very accomplished. So the German Cup last year, they got bronze. Asian champions, silver medal this year. Asian team championships, they won it this year. Gold medalist at the Southeast Asian Games in 2019. Kim Gi Jung, 31 years of age, 179 centimeters tall. 113th at the moment. As I mentioned, they were the world number two pair when they last played with each other. That was September 2016. It's going to take a while for them to put their way up that table. Kim Sarang is a bit older, 32, slightly shorter as well at 178. He's from Incheon in Korea. I'm not sure too many people gave them much of a chance in the career masters. And again, they defied the odds when they won the Welsh Open towards the end of last year. Aaron Chia, 25, 170 centimetres tall from uh, Malacca, which is uh, almost sort of central Malaysia. And, uh, 
currently seventh in the world, not far away from their best, which was sixth. And that was in November of last year. So Yik is from the capital Kuala Lumpur, is by far the tallest player here of the four at 182. The 24 year old. And these two have been very successful together in terms of, well, that Olympic medal will be the big one, wouldn't it, when they beat Hassan and Setia one to get that bronze. Ready to play. But they have yet to win a title on the world tour. Runners up, Salah Lux Open in 2018, the All England in 2019, and the Thai Open in 2020. Our officials for this one. Yasiewicz of uh, Serbia. And Sarali of Mauritius. It's been an intriguing encounter given that A, they've never met, B, the Kims are still on that comeback trail, they haven't really played that much. As I mentioned they won the career Ladies Masters, and gentlemen. that was in April, and they haven't played anything since. On my right, Apart from the Indonesia Masters last and so week. Malaysia. And on my left, Kim Ji Yoon and Kim Sarang, Korea. Kim Ji Yoon to serve to So Hwa Yik. Love all. Play. Kim Ji Yoon to serve here. Yeah, the Kims uh, were eliminated. One love. In that opening round, you heard you ding in Dong in straight games in the first round. Service over. One all. Good year for Aaron Chan so Yik. In terms of uh, wins. That looked like it might have been going out anyway, but so Yik made sure they were Three, eliminated one. in round two of the All England. Got to the semi finals of the Swiss Open. Loss in the finals of the Asia Championships. Four. Loss in the semis one. of the Thai Open. That was to Alfian and Adianto. We got to the quarters last week of the Indonesia Masters. So they've gone Service relatively over. deep in most Two. tournaments this year. Four. say that they are the favourites in this one. The Kims are only a Three, point behind four. in these early stages. Service fold cold. Too high. Service over. Five. Three. Six. So Three. now starting to build a little bit of a lead here. Chan So. 
12. Nice, you don't Service have to over. serve. Four, six. Yeah, I enjoyed watching uh, Ki Jung and Sarung in Korea. They had really good support there, as you'd imagine. Certainly weren't fancied in that tournament, especially in the final. Five, six. To find the odds a little. Four titles Seven, the BWF World five. Tour in its previous incarnation as the Super Series. They won three tournaments together, the Japan Open in 2012, the China Open in 2015, the Malaysia Open in 2016. Uh, also, Grand Prix, they won Indonesia Grand Prix Gold, 2012, which is now called Indonesia Masters. So you. Service over. A whopping Six, ten eight. years ago, though, if you think about that. So we're hoping to have a little omen there, perhaps. Seven, well, the lead eight. is only one. Twelve. Yeah, that was too Four. easy, wasn't it? Service well, over. So. Nine, seven. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that Eight, moment, the Kim. Nine. Right in the tail here. So in shout. Nine all. All level now. Nine. And the Kims take the lead here. We're we'll happy with this, actually. Very pleased with how things are going. Service over. Ten. Oh. Nice and tight so far. Series so over, uh, 11, Jung, 10, or so interval. Wrong, rather, gives the Korean pair the slight advantage here going into the interval. 11, 10 up in game one.
Court 1, 20 seconds. Court 1, 20 seconds. I think we also have to preface this to remind you that Aaron Chow and Sylvia Yek had, uh, have recovered or tried to recover from a bout of food poisoning last week. Service fault called. 